Is Baltimore safe to visit in 2023? It depends. Baltimore is a city that has a very high crime rate and has been struggling to manage this problem for years. However, this crime rate doesn't often affect tourists. As long as you follow basic safety precautions and are very careful about which neighborhoods in Baltimore you visit, you will have a safe trip to Baltimore, just like the millions of other people that visit the city each year. Most Americans that don't live in Baltimore associate the city with a high crime rate. Local news reports are often full of reports of theft, armed robbery, drug-related crimes, muggings, break-ins, assault, and homicide. According to U.S. News World Report, Baltimore has a higher-than-average crime rate compared to other American cities. The crime rate is 497, 9 incidents per 100,000 people. More concerning than the high overall crime rate is the makeup of crime in Baltimore. A high percentage of overall crime incidents are violent crime incidents. Baltimore's violent crime rate is much higher than the national average. Baltimore's crime rate has been high for decades, and city authorities have tried various initiatives to bring it down with little luck. Social factors such as racial segregation, concentrated poverty, and deindustrialization contributed over the past decades to bring down a once prosperous coastal city. The adversarial relationship between the city's population and police has not helped. In 2015, a young African-American man Freddie Gray was killed by the police during an arrest, sparking violent protests in the city. Although the situation has calmed down since, many Baltimore residents still mistrust the police, whom they see as targeting racial minorities and poor people in the city. This tension worsens the dynamic in the city as people are less likely to report crimes since they don't trust the police force. However, the story of the city of Baltimore is not just the story of crime. Baltimore is a city where many people live and go about their daily lives and millions visit every year. They wouldn't do this if the city was completely dangerous. Most crime in Baltimore is concentrated in several impoverished neighborhoods that have very high crime rates which drives up the crime rate for the city overall. Most neighborhoods where tourists want to go, such as Inner Harbor, are as safe as similar places in other big cities. Crime in Baltimore The most common safety concern for visitors to Baltimore is definitely crime. As we see before, the city has one of the highest crime rates in the nation. Especially violent crime. The FBI offers a detailed breakdown of crime statistics for Baltimore, using data from 2021. A whopping 30% of crimes committed in Baltimore are violent crimes, while the remaining 70% are property crimes. The most common violent crime in Baltimore is aggravated assault, which makes up 15% of total crimes committed in Baltimore. Robberies make up 13% of Baltimore's crime total. Baltimore also has a high rate of the worst violent crime, which is homicide. In 2021, there were 348 murders in Baltimore, almost one per day. It has more homicides than all the cities in the rest of Maryland combined. Most Baltimore homicides are concentrated in impoverished, high-crime neighborhoods. Often, victims are innocent citizens caught in the crossfire. Many homicides are drug and gang-related with violence a common form of gang initiation. This creates an unsafe situation for Baltimore residents, especially those living in vulnerable neighborhoods. However, tourists are rarely affected by this problem. Although they are afraid of becoming victims of homicides due to frightening news reports coming out of Baltimore, Baltimore also has a high property crime rate, with 25,748 total property crimes committed in 2020. The most common was larceny theft, which is the most common crime overall, making up 44.5% of total crimes committed in Baltimore. The city also experiences high rates of burglaries, which make up 14.7% of total crimes. Motor vehicle thefts are also common with thousands of incidents per year. Unfortunately, the crime prognosis for Baltimore is not very optimistic. 2022 was one of the deadliest years in recent history for Baltimore. The homicide rate increased that year, with 177 homicides in just the first six months of the year. 
analysts pointed to several potential causes for this increase in gun violence, including a countrywide uptick in gun violence and a strained police force. Again, keep in mind that most violent crimes in Baltimore affect certain neighborhoods more than others. Visitors to Baltimore, as long as they stick to safer parts of the city, likely won't experience the worst that city residents sometimes face. Theft Although violent crimes grab the headlines in Baltimore, tourists are far more likely to be victims of minor property crimes such as theft, the types of crimes you encounter in any tourist destination, than a dramatic violent crime. Residents of Baltimore have a 1 in 33 chance of being victims of a property crime. Pickpocketing rates in Baltimore are not as high as they are in certain global tourism destinations, such as the city of Barcelona. But you should still be on your guard when it comes to your valuables. Thieves operate in crowded areas of the city such as Penn Station and other transportation hubs. Make sure that you have a secure bag for your valuables and that you never put anything you can't afford to lose somewhere that thieves can easily access, such as a back pants pocket. Don't flash your valuables such as expensive jewelry or lots of cash as that singles you out as a potential target. In Baltimore, you are likely to encounter people asking you for money on the street. Most people are innocent panhandlers trying to make a buck. There is a high poverty rate in Baltimore. Politely say that you don't have any cash and move on or do what many locals do and tune out the many panhandlers. However, some people asking you for money are potential scammers. Be careful of people approaching you in the street offering you unique tours or CDs of their music as these are often scammers. Another common scam tactic is people asking to use your phone to text a family member, then entering your banking application. Finally, be careful when withdrawing money from an ATM. Some ATMs have skimmers, so always make sure that the opening of the ATM looks as it should and cover your pin with your hand. Only use ATMs in banks and other official buildings and during the day to avoid being robbed. Robbery if you do end up being the victim of a violent crime while you are in Baltimore, the most likely crime you will encounter will be robbery. Thousands of robberies happen in Baltimore each year. Common forms of robberies are muggings, carjackings, and retail robberies, obviously. You don't have to worry about the latter one as a tourist. Carjackings in particular are a concern for Baltimore residents. There was a spike in carjackings in the summer of 2022, and many remained unsolved. Be careful when taking a taxi as many carjackings target rideshare drivers and taxis. The good news is that the tourist area of Baltimore is very compact, so you can get away with not taking a taxi or rideshare or renting a car at all during your stay. If you have to drive, make sure that all your doors and windows are locked as you drive through the city and try to drive during the day. Most robberies occur in Baltimore's sketchier neighborhoods, so as long as you stick to safe areas, you should be fine. Most robberies also occur at night. Try to do most of your exploring during the day and stick to streets that you know are safe and well-lit if you decide to venture out at night. Other precautions can help you avoid being the victim of a robbery. Avoid flashing a lot of cash or other valuables as that singles you out as a target. Attempt to blend in with the locals by looking as if you know where you are going. Tourists are often targeted for robberies if they look lost and are on their phone. So duck into a nearby business if you want to search for directions. Avoiding bad areas. Cherry Hill neighborhood in Baltimore. One of the least safe areas in the city. Pictured with a few slum-like homes boarded up. September 2019. Baltimore, Maryland. Suburbs of Baltimore like Cherry Hill as seen from tramline show the extent of inner-city poverty in USA with houses in dire condition slash Florida Chuck slash Shutterstock. Avoiding bad areas is the key to staying safe in Baltimore. Crime is highly concentrated in certain parts of the city. So avoiding them will help you stay safe. West Baltimore contains most of the city's dangerous neighborhoods. Avoid this region of Baltimore and you will avoid a lot of the worst crime. The Middle East neighborhood of Baltimore was where much of the wire was filmed, which should tell you what you need to know about the safety of this area. Other dangerous neighborhoods in Baltimore include Cherry Hill, Grove Park, and Fairfield area. Most tourist destinations are concentrated around Inner Harbor, which is one of the safest parts of the city. 
Things to consider. Here are some additional safety tips for traveling to Baltimore. When talking to locals, don't always bring up the crime. People are aware of the reputation their city has and are frustrated when people stereotype it. If you're driving in Baltimore, always lock your doors and roll up your windows. Park only in secure parking lots and garages with attendance and surveillance. Baltimore in the summer is hot and humid. With frequent storms, dress appropriately. You might want to visit when there is milder weather. Tap water in Baltimore is mostly safe. However, sometimes the tap water is contaminated, especially during floods. Follow local news for warnings when there is a boil water notice. Baltimore has a reputation for being an unsafe city, and you should certainly be aware when walking around the city. However, if you stick to busy, touristy areas and take basic precautions, your trip to Baltimore should be very safe. Happy travels! I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more content.